what's going on there youtube back once again yes i am oh it's a little bit cold today even with the heater still a bit nippy oh made a joke about this being a bunker yesterday and i literally am bunking in trying to dodge the fallout there's world war three going on in my house at the moment what comes of living under a roof with three young women <laughs> I just give up it was all starting then the shouting started coming towards me and I was just like okay it just disappeared out the door Oh, I found my own bit of peace and zen in the shed. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Today, I found this in the bottom of the box. Another six photos, but Indian curry. I forgot about this one. I was just intrigued, like a curry snuff. Is it gonna burn my nose off? I don't know. But let's give it a try, shall we? See what she's saying. I'll start ripping into it now because sometimes I have a bit of trouble getting into these. I'm in. I'm in. Gonna decant it into a empty tin. It's always the first thing I do with these six photos. I don't break the tins to keep them. Whoa. Made a little sandcastle look. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's definitely in that, it's definitely um, packed into them tins. Just going to try and crush it down and break it up a little bit. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up snuffing bricks. Okay, so... Okay, this one's got, um, you know, it's more of a sort of yellowy, lighter brown. That might be you. Sounds like someone's messaging me. Um, yeah, so it's a lighter brown. I would say... Yeah, it's still pretty fine, but it's got a little bit of moisture in it, medium to sort of medium low moisture. But I think it's got enough moisture in it. All right. Hmm. Okay. I can't say I'm getting any curry off of it. It's just got a similar sort of Indian spices smell that a lot of the other ones have. Maybe a little bit of mint or something in it. Yeah. Sort of Indian incense spicy sort of smell and maybe a little bit of mint. Let's jump in and see what she's saying, shall we? Okay. Yeah, it's got a nice burn on it.
Okay, so it's got a nice burn. Hmm. It has got like a, it's got like I've said on the other ones, it's got either a little bit of tiny little touch of menthol or a bit of mint. And I'm more thinking it's mint. It's actually quite nice. I wasn't expecting to like it, but I quite like that. It's kind of got a curry sort of scent to it. But it's more of a sort of... <clears throat> it's more of a... Sort of like a masculine... Cologne sort of curry smell. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I had a cologne that smelled like that, I'd quite happily wear it, I think. It's sort of got that Indian incense but it's, a, yeah, it's like a very masculine sort of, I don't know, maybe that's in my head, but there's something about it that just, like, makes me feel like it's got a manly smell about it. Or maybe just me. I want to say, like, I wouldn't think nothing weird of it if I, you know, you know, like sometimes you catch a whiff of someone's aftershave or something. If I smelt someone that smelt like this, I wouldn't think nothing of it. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot more I can add to that, though. I wouldn't say it smells of curry. It's, again, it's one of them that it kind of gives you the sense of a curry smell. But to me, it's more of a sort of like a masculine Indian incense-y um cologne sort of smell if i'm honest do you know what it reminds me of there used to be this guy right who was friends with my mum when i was a kid and he was kind of like an adopted uncle and he was an indian fella an older indian fella and his name was charlie and he used to own a taxi firm. And he used to sometimes like take us to the park and that with kids. And it remind and sometimes we'd go to his house. And it reminds me of like the smell of like his bedroom. Sounds really weird, me going to some random indian guy's house's bedroom but there was nothing sinister i assure you he was like an adopted uncle as he used to say to me i was a little kid and i used to say to him charlie charlie take me to the jungle that's what he used to say to me do you know what you used to say to me when you were young you used to say charlie charlie take me to the jungle and the jungle was like a field or something or a park or yeah, now he passed away years ago, but no, he was an alright geezer. He, 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 it's not as sinister as what it sounds, honestly. Right, back to the snuff. I like it. As I say, it's a masculine, incense -y, 
kind of got the hint of a curry scent about it, sort of spices with a bit of mint in it. I quite like it. I think I'm going to give it a... That's right, a seal of approval. I like it. I would recommend it. And I'm going to carry on using it. Because it reminds me of my old adopted Uncle Charlie. There you go. That's my take on it. That got really weird, that felt like. <laughs> that just seems like it got a little bit in the weird territory. Yeah, not just me, slightly uncomfortable. But anyway, that's one man's take. I'll leave it there. So remember to tap, pinch and two. That's three ingredients to your enjoyment and your enjoyment is all I've got for you. So remember to come back to the shed and until then, I shall bid you farewell.